nice. All right, Winter, we get the f***ing <laughs> point. <laughs> Numbers make my head hurt. RFA! Uh, uh, UFA! <laughs> Get Ralphie on the floor, you <laughs> I love that. Me fail English? That's impossible. <laughs> I choo 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 choose you! <laughs> There's a picture of a train! <laughs> I got an awesome topic that you have no idea about. So, you ready for this? I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, so restricted free agency is coming to an end because the legal tampering period is going to happen. Yeah, did right? you guys watch the dates to remember? Probably didn't. <laughs> Probably not, looking at the views that that video got. No, yeah, none. <laughs> Yeah, we did a video on important dates in the calendar, and it, it is important now as we come up to, you know, sort of a lot of things that happen in the NFL in a relatively short period of time. So if you haven't seen that video, Mario, put the thing up here. Up there. Okay. Sure. Um, but restricted free agency is almost coming to an end um, because um, the legal tampering period is happening. Right, and that happens in just a few days here. That starts no March 11th is the legal tampering period, and then the league year starts March 13th. That was a rookie move. So uh, with that happening, Rashad Higgins only got a fifth round tender from the Browns. Oh, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Man. That was nice. If you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. Anyway, oh, Rashad Higgins. Rashad Higgins For is a very round. intriguing yeah. fifth round, though. Mm. Well, he's $2 million right now. So the Browns are going to get him for two mil with a fifth round pick. But the, I'm not, the fifth round pick doesn't bother me. The Bills, son of a. So Rashad Higgins could be had for a fifth round pick right now. Right, the Bills gotta give up a fifth round pick, but they also have to offer him a contract that he wants to take back um, to Cleveland and for them to match. Now, now don't get me wrong, Rashad Higgins isn't putting up crazy numbers, but he had like 36 receptions for 500 plus yards and four touchdowns. Like that puts you in the elite class of Bills wide receivers this season. <laughs> so, I mean, it does. Um, he's a little bit bigger, so I, <clears throat> he's six one or six two. He's right around there. Yep. But he is quickly developing into Baker Mayfield's favorite target. So the fact that he's only a fifth round pick, and the Bills do have two. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a gamble you take, right? That's one of the reasons why the Bills went out and got Corey Coleman. Everybody lost their mind when the Bills ended up releasing or waiving Corey Coleman. But that was one of the deals with Corey Coleman was he, with all the trials and tribulations that he eventually came through, right? Corey Coleman's a restricted free agent this year. <laughs> the Browns tendered him at a first round tender. Wow. Uh, well, they want to hold on to him. So the, I'm sorry, the Giants, excuse me. The Giants tendered him at a first round tender. Whoa. But all that's what tells you, like, the path that these players all take, at some point, there's some value there. Do we know that, though? Do we know that for a fact that that's what... That's the reason they tendered him because he was a first round pick. Yeah, well, so they, they may tender him at original round. Remember, that is original round. Right, exactly. But that's my point. But is, then they can have another first round. They could classify that as they, they their original round draft tender and then use another first round on another guy. I believe that's correct. Okay, okay. Maybe that's maybe that's what they want to do. Maybe they want to use something on uh, another no, guy. Wait, wait, wait. You can't. No, that's not how that works. You sure? Positive. Yeah. No, that's not how that works. I'm positive. Roll the tape back. <clears throat> I'm just asking because it says, okay, if you have three categories, first, second, yeah. and original round, and you put him in that original round tender, then right. you still use your first and somebody else. Yeah, Which is yeah. weird to use two first round tenders. Exactly. That's unless you think you're going to lose two guys. Yeah, that's why they don't allow it. Um, because it, you, the team that would tender two first round guys would have all the cards. They wouldn't they run would. the risk of losing those guys. Gotcha. So that's why. Right. Um, yeah, Corey Coleman would not have been uh, a for a original round tender eligible player. But a guy drafted in the second round could have a first round tender or an yes. original second original okay. round tender put on him. So that's how that works. Okay. Um, but Rashad Higgins, I think, would be a great a great option for Buffalo. But again, he comes at a higher cost than just a fifth round pick. You probably have to offer him about two to three million dollars a season. 
you're probably offering him a three to four year deal. Like it's a little bit of a bigger commitment. Um, but he caught 70 plus percent of his passes that were thrown to him last season. So, I mean, you take a look at the ancillary stats and you say, well, why not? I mean, what what have you got to lose? You don't have the depth of wide receiver. You're still going to be digging, looking for somebody. You're probably still drafting somebody. I don't know. Maybe Higgins has something that you want. Maybe. <clears throat> so what you're saying is that Higgins in the fifth round, he would have more experience than a guy that you're going to draft in the fifth round at wide out. Right. Probably by that time, you're not going to have many options of wide outs to pick from. Right. I understand that. Usually receivers that they take flyers on anyway, you're just taking a flyer on him. He's going to cost you just a few bucks more. That's all. Right. Well, that's the thing with Higgins is that he's going to cost you three times as much as a fifth-round player. But if you're only taking a two- or three-year contract back to him, that's still better than what the Browns are offering. The Browns are offering a one-year, $2 million deal. That's the Browns offer. You just, that's the Browns all you are trying to swing for the fences with other big-name wide receivers. Yeah, they need so. the money. So, but that's all you have to beat is one year, $2 million. Could the Bills beat one year, $2 million? Yeah, they could beat one year, $2 million. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Without a doubt. It's not a big, it's not a big deal though. Because like, because you have the cast, it's not like you're hemorrhaging money right now. Right. So, exactly. Um, and I like I Higgins the, as a player. He's, yeah, I take a quick. flyer on him. Yeah. He doesn't play, he doesn't have to play the slot. You can play him outside, you know, so I'm down with that. So what you're saying is, because <clears throat> I know there's going to be some Bills yeah, yeah, there's going to be some Bills fans that connect the dots here. At one point, we had Calvin Benjamin and Corey Coleman on the team. Yeah. Former Panther, former Brown. Yeah. So you're saying that it's conceivable that we could have Higgins and Devin Funches on this team? Oh, God, at some point. stop it. <laughs> stop it. I'll take Higgins a thousand times over Devin Funches. A thousand really? times. Yeah. A thousand times. I don't like Funches. What? What do you guys think? Which, who would you take, Funches or Higgins? Don't say Funches. He's, don't say Funches. <laughs> Subliminal. <laughs> no, don't pull your Scarlet Witch magic. In no, it. no. Did you see Daniel? Or who? Oh God, who posted it? Oh, Big Spence posted it. Where oh, it, his his comment was, "We need to parentheses protect Allen. <laughs> Move forward with protect Allen. <laughs> Free agency with protect Allen." But it's hysterical. Hysterical. <laughs> That's his character. Big Spence got me on that one. He's a character. He is a character.